Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV with a question of the day, and this one comes from Dan MUFC Frogger, long time viewer. Thank you very much, Dan, for all of your comments, all of your tweets, and all of your interaction on the Geek and Noise channel. Nice to see you over here on Daily Tech TV. The question, it says, Hi Dave, been a viewer of your channel for a while now, and my question for the day, I know you talked about security in your videos before, but are password managers good to use? If so, which do you recommend? I used LastPass and just wanted your thoughts. Now that is an amazing question. I'm a strong believer in passwords, uh, using some sort of security management software, and also using really strong passwords, letter combinations with numerals, uppercase symbols, very, very important, and also very important not to use the same password across multiple different accounts. So i.e. don't use the same password on your email as you do on your Netflix account, as you do on your PayPal and eBay account. Worst thing you can do is using the same password because if somebody manages to hack one of your accounts or you do divulge your password inadvertently to somebody, it means they can get into everything and then you've got an absolute nightmare. It's bad enough being hacked on one sort of account and having maybe your PayPal compromised, for example, your Twitter account compromised. But if it happens on multiple accounts, oh my goodness, it is an absolute nightmare. Now you've asked about password managers. Now I haven't used many, but the one I use is from, I think they're called Agile Bits or it might be Agile Software, but it's called One Password and it's absolutely fantastic and I really do highly recommend it. Now 1Password uh, has a standalone application. It also has an Android application, also an iOS app as well. Not sure if it's on Windows Phone yet, so don't quote me on that. It should be if it isn't. Uh, and basically, it allows you to actually generate really strong passwords and then have the actual application remember them. And then when you go to log in to a particular website, maybe you're using Google Chrome or Safari, then you can install an extension. And when you go to that page, you simply use your master password. So you only have to actually remember one password, thus the name of the application. And then you can just click on the website that you're actually visiting and it will log you in. Fantastic, and it really is a superb application and very, very secure. Now you can synchronize your passwords across multiple devices. So I've got access to my 1Password account on my iPad, so I can automatically log into things on my iPad. I've got it on my iPhone, and I've got it accessible on both my desktop and my laptop computer. And I actually synchronize mine by placing the sort of log file on Dropbox, and then I use Dropbox to synchronize between devices. So I really do highly recommend you either use one password or something very similar so that you can have really secure passwords. It's very, very important nowadays. So great question. Thank you very much, Dan, for asking that question. I hope that's helped give you an insight into what I use. If you've got any suggestions as well, leave them in the comments section. And also, if you've got any new questions, leave them in the comments section as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.